Picture the world's biggest dump and you probably don't picture an ocean. But that's the sad reality of what some parts of the Pacific have become. So in the lead up to Sea Week next week, we thought we'd take a closer look at it and how one young guy hopes to solve it. Here's Carl. For years, plastic has been slowly choking our oceans. Each day, around three and a half million pieces of plastic wash into the sea. Once there, they can harm marine animals that mistake plastic for food or get tangled in it. But where is all that plastic coming from? Well, it often starts here. We've all seen it caught in plants or sometimes blowing down the street. And occasionally, we've accidentally dropped it ourselves. This plastic rarely just stays on the street, though. Instead, it often gets washed into waterways. Some plastic does get filtered out in drains like these before it gets into our rivers or waterways. But the rest of it keeps floating, and because plastic can take hundreds of years to break down, you might be surprised at just how far it can travel. In a year or two, a bit of rubbish like this here in Adelaide can wash all the way to New Zealand. After all that time in the ocean, it starts to break apart and eventually turns into this. Tiny little specks called microplastics that animals can mistake for food. And that isn't the end of this plastics journey either. Its next stop is the largest dump in the world. This is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, a giant part of the Pacific Ocean bigger than New South Wales, filled with floating plastic. We know this patch is a big problem, but cleaning it up has been either too tricky or too expensive. That was until this guy came along. At just 16 years old, Boyan Slat from the Netherlands started thinking up a solution. I realised back in high school, there might be an alternative. For a school project, he designed a system of floating barriers that would be up to 100 kilometres long. They would sit in the path of ocean currents in a V-shape to capture and funnel any floating plastic. Then these giant towers would suck it all up. Instead of going after the plastics, you could simply wait for the plastic to come to you. Five years after coming up with the idea, his organisation, the Ocean Cleanup, is getting ready for a big trial of the technology off the coast of Japan. Yes, it works. But even if they can grab all that plastic floating on the surface, he says his organisation still couldn't fix the problem completely. It is of course essential to first close the tap to prevent any more plastic from reaching the oceans in the first place. So he's calling on everyone to lend a hand. Just a single bit of plastic like this can break up into lots of little parts that hang around for ages and cause lots of damage. So the best thing you can do is just throw it in the bin. And who knows how many lives you might save with that one simple act.